Hello, my name is Diego Morones Castillo, and I am here to present my business review project about Amazon. Amazon was first founded in 1994 by Jeff Bezos, a former Wall Street hedge fund executive. Amazon's name was chosen by Bezos based on beginning with the first letter of the alphabet and being associated with the river in South America. The company began with the intention of selling any book to any reader anywhere. The company set up their headquarters in Seattle, Washington, due to Bezos' belief that the technical talent found there would give him a good selection of potential employees, and in May of 1997, the company became a publicly traded company. According to Amazon's About page, one of its four principles is a passion for invention, which is present in their use of their electronic devices, such as the Kindle, Fire Tablets, Fire TV, Amazon Echo, or Alexa. On a larger scale, despite the company's original function of selling books, its original goal was to simplify online transactions for consumers. To make this clear, Amazon began Amazon Web Services, AWS, which first offered data on statistics for developers and marketers such as internet traffic patterns and website popularity. In 1998, the company began international operations in the United Kingdom and Germany, and has since diversified its products and services into several segments, including the creation of AWS and the acquisition of Whole Foods. On February 2, 2021, Jeff Bezos stepped down as CEO, being replaced with Andy Jassy, the former CEO of Amazon's Web Services. This would leave Bezos to take on the role of executive chair of Amazon's board of directors. Amazon's original competition took the form of already established physical bookstores such as Borders and Barnes & Noble, along with the already established online bookseller, Computer Literacy. However, as they've expanded in recent years, so has their list of competitors. Apple Incorporated, Microsoft Corporations, and Netflix are all Amazon's main subscription service rivals. As for retail competitors, this would include such rivals as Target, Walmart, Best Buy, and Costco. And for web service competitors, this would include Oracle, Microsoft, and IBM. Amazon's code of ethics has been called into question in recent years. Despite their original goal of, quote, ensuring the people, workers, and communities that support our value chain are treated with fundamental dignity and respect, end quote, there has been many controversies based around their treatment of workers, such as fighting off efforts of unionization. On the Amazon website, about Amazon.com, the mission statement cannot be found. Instead, there is a paragraph that covers their four guiding principles, their personal goals as a company, and the products and services offered that they pioneered in, which include products like Amazon Echo and concepts like AWS and their Just Walk Out technology. However, according to the website missionstatement.com, Amazon's mission statement is, quote, we strive to offer our customers the lowest possible prices, the best available selection, and the utmost convenience, end quote. Amazon's employee count was around 250,000 employees, with an additional 120,000 employees in previous years for the holiday seasons. In 2018, however, there was a smaller additional holiday employee count of 100,000 due to the investment of robotics leaning to more automation. In February of 2021, Jeff Bezos stepped down from his position as CEO, handing it off to Andy Jassy, the founder of Amazon Web Services. Bezos now serves as the executive chairman of the Amazon board, receiving a compensation of $1.7 million. When Jassy started in 2021, he received a compensation of $212.7 million, with a majority of it being restricted stocks of vesting over the next 10 years. The salary he had earned was $175,000. Amazon offers a wide range of employment opportunities worldwide. On the official corporate job website, the company lists 34 divisions based on category, 30 divisions based on the teams, and over 200 locations, including Germany, Spain, and China. About Amazon states that they offer starting wages of $18 per hour, along with the, a range of benefits that include employee benefits to the family members of the employee and cover several financial assistance, 
such as the opportunity to enroll in paid life and accident insurance and participate in estate planning services. Amazon's 14 core values are, in summary, regarding the virtues of being looked for in current or potential leaders. These include a customer-based obsession, a focus with quality, and how the individual worker's innovation, accountability, insight, and ambition create a more successful environment, with nothing less than perfect being the set goal. The innovation shines through in their services, such as AWS, an Amazon subsidiary that provides over 200 services from global data centers, and their products, such as Amazon Echo, a voice-activated artificial intelligence that can answer nearly any question asked or fulfill nearly any request, like playing music, reading the news, or connecting wirelessly to electronic devices with Bluetooth. Amazon has been at the forefront of many corners of the market, initially selling to the more technically advanced customers in 1991, it was officially incorporated in 1994, with its initial product selling point being literature, Bezos' reasoning being that it was the most logical product to sell online. Since then, it has expanded to include many other variety products on its website. In 2007, Amazon announced the Amazon Kindle, a series of electronic reading tablets that allowed books and other paper and reading material to adapt to the times and compete with social media, mobile games, and several other distractions. Since then, there have been several generations following it, making modifications such as a larger screen and a longer battery life. In 2014, Amazon announced Echo a cylindrical, voice-activated, digital assistant that's always on and ready to answer questions or perform tasks, such as reading the local news or giving a weather forecast. With its seven microphones found on the top, it can accurately pinpoint where you're talking to it from, and the 360-degree speaker allows the responses to fill the room it's in. Employees at Amazon are expected to live up to the virtue of being resourceful and making do with as little as possible without compromising the quality of the service or product. This is one of the many tactics that allows the company to offer a variety of products at prices that stand to compete with physical retail stores like Walmart. For example, on the Amazon webpage, a pair of Logitech wireless gaming headphones can be bought for $49.88. Whereas on the Walmart webpage, the same pair of wireless gaming headphones are sold for $63.99. Another example of Amazon's ability to offer customer-minded service is through their shipping. On both Amazon and Walmart's webpages, the same Harry Potter-themed Advent Christmas calendar is sold for $19.28. However, on Amazon's webpage, they also mention free shipping with purchases of $25 or more along with the ability to buy a slightly used version of the advent calendar for only $14.99. Judging from the shopping page, Amazon's promotion strategy is as diverse as its product mix. With several intertwined services, the company advertises the more mainstream ones, such as their electronic devices, prime video, and preemptive products at the top with large imaging, advising customers to, quote, shop early and save, end quote. On the cycling banner, there is also mention of helping small businesses. According to the Stanford University School of Engineering article, Amazon Enters the Cloud Computing Business, Amazon Web Store is a service that allows businesses to create their own e-commerce websites using their own photos and brandings, with sellers paying nearly $60 a month to subscribe with a 7% referral fee. While somewhat of a steep entry price for small businesses, this did, as of 2008, make up 40% of sales revenue for Amazon. However, there's more. Good promotion also requires good marketing. According to 5 Tactics Your Amazon Strategy Should Steal from Amazon, one of the tactics used by the company is video marketing, which helps 90% of people make a purchasing decision. Amazon's headquarters are located in Seattle, Washington, and Arlington, Virginia, and the company is responsible for Amazon Echo, the digital assistant. According to the live interview done by David Rubenstein for the David Rubenstein Show, Amazon started in the Seattle area of Washington due to Bezos' draw to the innovation that spawned from the state. However, it has since expanded to all over the world, which has earned them a third of the international net sales in Germany as of 2017. 
Amazon's revenue in December of 2020 was approximately $213.31 billion. The company's revenue in December of 2021 was $333.64 billion, an increase of 56.4%. The company's net income ending October 2022 was down approximately 66% at $11.32 billion. Earnings per share was 1.15, and Amazon does not have a dividend yield. The stock price of Amazon.com Inc. on November 11th 2022 was $100.79. A graph of the most recent 12 months stock performance follows. After researching Amazon Incorporated, I feel that the company is sufficiently competent and has a diverse portfolio of products that would allow its customers to easily choose from one location. The company's vision statement does not limit the company to a specific product line or industry, but rather enhances it by addressing the expectations to have when either working with them or buying from them. That being said, I would definitely not work for the company, since I feel it has been seen as a problematic corporation, with news reports discussing some of the unethical business practices that Amazon has partaken in, such as attempting to censor negative discussions of the company. Quote, the filtered word list, cited by The Intercept, includes slurs and insults, along with terms tied to working conditions, pay raise, unfair, rate, union, grievance, compensation, fire, terminated, to conscientious policies like staff not being allowed restroom breaks, and to words that might make for heated discussion, slave labor, plantation, ethics, diversity, vaccine, robots, end quote. Even though they had raised their minimum wage to $15 per hour back in 2018, it wasn't because of goodwill, but rather seasonal incentive. Quote, It typically happens around tight labor markets. Don't forget that Amazon needs a lot of workers coming in for the holiday season. End quote. I would also probably not invest in Amazon Incorporated at this time, since I feel that the company's stock performance has been declining in the last five years. And even if it were performing well, the amount of money I would have to put in to get a substantial return would be so large that it simply would not be worth my time.